My question is to the Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Cormann. In September, Minister for Natural Disaster and Emergency Management and now Deputy Leader of the National Party, David Littleproud, said, and I quote, I don't know if climate change is man-made. Does the Deputy Leader of the National Party's statement reflect the government's position? The Minister representing the Prime Minister, Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr President. The government's position is uh, well known and well understood. Uh, we are committed to effective action on climate change, and we are committed to a policy agenda which is environmentally effective and economically uh, responsible. And that is, of course, what we have been pursuing very successfully over the last uh, six and a half years in government. Indeed, uh, our commitments to uh, emission, internationally agreed emissions reduction targets uh, has been consistent has been consistent all the way through, through the Abbott government, the Turnbull government, and indeed now the Morrison government. And indeed, if you order, look at Senator Cormann, Senator McAllister on a point of order. Uh, Mr. President, I, does this go to relevance? The question is whether or not the government accepts that climate change is man-made. Um, that was part of the question, Senator McAllister. I think with respect, Senator Cormann is being directly relevant to the question asked. Senator Cormann. Uh, th thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Just to again confirm the government's position. The government's position uh, is that we are committed to effective action on climate change. And if you, if you consider uh, our performance in, uh, uh, against the 2020 uh, emissions reduction target agreed to in Kyoto, uh, we, are, we are beating that target. Only one of a handful of countries that is beating uh, their Kyoto emissions reduction target. And indeed, we are on track to meet our 2030. Senator Wong on a point of order. Direct relevance, Mr. President, and I, I listened to your ruling earlier, and I, I, uh, the opposition is, uh, would like some clarification of what are the other aspects of the question to which you believe uh, the minister is being relevant. The, the, the only quote is a quote, so there's a reference to the deputy leader, and there is a quote, and there's a question about whether that statement reflects the government's yeah. position. So uh, I, I, I would yeah, ask, sure. I would ask the, the president to indicate what, what are the other aspects of the, I'm entitled to do this. Thank you. Ask the President to... Order. Can I hear the point of order? <laughs> Thank you. I, I would ask you, Mr President, to advise the Chamber as to what are the other aspects of the statement to which you believe the Minister is relevant. Um, Senator Cormann on the point of order. Much, uh, Mr President, on uh, the point of order, I was asked a question about the position of the government uh, in relation to climate change, and I'm answering, I'm answering, that in a, I'm answering it in a manner that is directly relevant. Um, um, I'm, I'm, on, on the point of order, uh, quite right, Senator, Senator Wong. You had a quote there from a minister at the time, and then a question um, that related to the quote. And, and with respect, I think the minister is actually being directly relevant to the quote and the question in the subject matter he is dealing with. I can't instruct him how to answer a question, but I think what he's saying is directly relevant to the quote and the question. I, 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 I'm happy to review the Hansard, and if I'm wrong, I'll say so. I'm happy to take submissions on it. But I, I, I think I'm being, people are seeking me to direct him how to answer a question which is outside my capacity. Senator Cormann. Thank you very much, Mr President. As is uh, well understood, the government absolutely accepts that uh, climate change is a global problem that needs to be addressed in a globally coordinated fashion. And indeed, Australia, as part of the global community, is doing its bit uh, to help reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And we're doing so in a way that is uh, environmentally effective and economically responsible. Indeed, uh, if, you, uh, if you look at uh, our commitment to 2030 on a per capita basis, that means a reduction in emissions by 50 per cent uh, on the basis of uh, uh, our emissions intensity, emissions per unit of GDP, we are committed to a reduction of two-thirds, uh, which is more ambitious than uh, the European Union, more ambitious than Canada, more ambitious than uh, New Zealand and many other countries. And, and of course, <laughs> And of course, I mean, what, what, what matters here is the policy position of the government. The policy position is very clear. We are committed to effective action on climate change, and we leave the theological arguments to the Labor Party and the Greens. Senator McAllister, a supplementary question. Thanks, Mr. President. O order. Uh, I can't hear Senator McAllister. Senator McAllister. Thanks, Mr. President. Um, when asked about the cause of climate change on ABC's Q and A last Monday, Senator Molan said, and I quote. As to whether it is human-induced climate change, my mind is open. Does Senator Molan's statement reflect the government's position? 
Senator Cormann. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Uh, I'm asked about Senator Moore. Let me say what a fine senator for the great state of New South Wales. And what an outstanding job Senator Nort Molan did uh, in the context of the bushfires, working up and down the coast of New South Wales, supporting bushfire affected communities in New South Wales. Fine senator indeed. And of course, uh, Senator Molan, like any individual senator in this place, is of course entitled to his opinions. But as far as the government is concerned, the government's position is very clear. We are committed to effective action on climate change as part of a globally coordinated effort. Our targets... Order. Senator McAllister on a point of order. Uh, my point of order again goes to relevance. Uh, Senator Cormann has been asked to provide advice as to whether Senator Molan's uh, position reflects the government position. And Senator Molan's position specifically goes to whether or not climate change is human-induced. And I'm asking Senator Cormann to answer that question. Um, on the point of order, or continue. On, on the point of order, um, I appreciate that very well put point of order, Senator McAllister. But I think it goes to the point of instructing a minister, me, asking me to instruct a minister how to answer a question. Um, people are entitled to judge ministers' answers of questions as long as they are directly relevant. They are within standing orders. I do believe that the material the minister is addressing is directly relevant to the question, um, and I call him to continue. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President. Let me say it again very slowly. Uh, our government is committed to effective action on climate change. And, 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 we are doing so, and we are doing so in a way that is environmentally effective and economically responsible, and we're doing Order. it as part of the global community. Order. On my and left. Indeed, and I indeed, and Order indeed. on my left. Senator Cormann, please resume your seat. If I can't hear Senator Cormann's quite loud voice, then there is way too much noise in the chamber. Senator Cormann to continue. Thank you very much, Mr. President. We are part of the uh, global community of nations which are committed, which is committed to effective action on climate Order, change. Senator we are Cormann, doing our time bit. for the answer has expired. Senator McAllister, a final supplementary question. Thanks, Mr. President. Once more, does the Morrison government accept that climate change is human-induced? Senator Cormann. Uh, yes.